Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. And this is the star of today's show, hops. To be specific, leaf hops. You see, it's one of the main ingredients of making beer. And today we're going to be dry aging with it to see if it's going to turn out good. There are two different types of hops you can buy online. One is made out of pellet and the other one is the leaves. Now take a look at the pellets. It almost looks like rabbit food. To use this to dry age is going to be very tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and use the leaves. But at the same time, I'm also going to be using the real deal, beer. To be specific, I'm going to be using this black Guinness. And we can't dry age beef with without the meat. And this is what I'm going to be using for today's experiment. We got our four bone rib roast. We're talking about choice. And that's because I want to find out if this experiment is going to make a cheap steak taste good. The first thing we need to do is to split it in half. That's because with one of them, I'm going to be dry aging for real. But the second one, you already know what's about to happen. Talking about that, the first thing to do was to put it on a cooling rack and a tray and then give it a beer shower. For that, I'll keep my mouth shut so that you can watch what happens. Once it was nice and sticky, it was time in to go with the hops leaf. And I tried to cover the whole thing with it. But as you can clearly see, it's coming off. That is not what we want. So I try everything I could to make sure that this thing sticks. I went as far as adding more beer on top of it. But as you can see, it's completely coming off. So I had to bring in the cheesecloth. This will still allow the beef to be dry aged because it's breathable. But most importantly, the hops will stay. Once everything was fully covered, it was time to go in with another beer shower. As you can see, once I was done, this is what I was left with. Now that is either going to turn out real good or real bad. Because remember, I still have the real dry age one as well. Now the only thing left to do was to put this to dry age. And for that, I'll be using my dry aging cabinets. As now all there's left to do is to wait 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and look, this is what it looks like. Not much has changed, except everything is completely dry. And I only wish you could smell this. It is absolutely horrifying. Not good, friends. Once I took it completely out, take a look. Now that is something you do not see every day. And the most interesting part for me is that some parts did not dry. You see how it's still wet? That is not a good sign. As you can see, the opposite side is drier. That's what we're looking for. To learn more what the beer hops did to the meat, I went ahead and started cleaning it up. So I took my butter knife and went to town. And once I was done removing all of it, take a look. This is a 35 days beer hops dry aged beef. That is something you might never see again. Unless this turns out fantastic. Because right now my hopes are way down. As I took a sniff, oh man. It smelled like spoiled beer. It's just terrible. So I went ahead and started removing all of the pellicles. Doing as best as I can to make sure I don't remove too much. As once I was done, check it out. If you found something just like this on your supermarket, you would definitely buy it because it looks fantastic. And the best part, the smell is completely gone. It actually smells like good beer. Perfectly dry aged steaks. Talking about perfection, remember I still have the real dry aged one. And this is what it looks like. You see a little bit of white mold which is completely normal but most importantly the smell that is coming out of this thing is fantastic as like any dry aging experiment we also have to remove the pellicles so i went ahead and went to town removing as much as possible and only keeping the good stuff as in the end i was left with two beautiful steaks but notice that we had more loss than the previous one don't believe me take a look at both of them side by side some way somehow the beer hops preserved more meat but of course the most important thing is how is it going to taste well we're about to find out out right now. To make sure I don't mask any of the flavor, I kept the seasoning extremely simple. A little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper, that's it. And as always, I made sure to season it well, because the only thing left to do now is to cook them. Talking about that first, I'll be putting a beautiful sear in all of them. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill this beautiful steak, so let's do it.
Does that look good or what? And before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. With Raid, you can explore millions of champion combination and master countless tactics. I mean, they got over 600 champions with unique skills. Like this legendary champion right here, Satalia. She's a great support champion and useful everywhere, but especially in PvP. I just love taking her to the arena. And what about this dude right here? Another legendary champion, Tatura Reinheit. Now this one helps me get through the Hydra and the Doom Tower. And this month is gonna be Raid's three year anniversary, so the celebrations are gonna be huge. Check this out, Raid's first ever champion skins. They look amazing. Already available for the Arbiter, you can change the appearance to something that suits your style. This is the best time to get started in Raid. So if you click the link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you get a free starter pack worth almost $40. We're talking about three free champions all at once. Misericord, Tiger Soul, Romero, plus 10 Magic XP Bruce, 10 Force XP Bruce, 10 Spirit Bruce. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. And it's that easy, man. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Thank you, Raid, for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. I mean, they do look beautiful they today. Look, yeah. They look real nice. Huh? <laughs> now, as you guys know, we got doubles. So what does that mean? We got an experiment going on, yeah. but I have a feeling this is gonna be a real good one, Leo. <laughs> All I, I know is that there's one good steak here. Uh, that I can guarantee. And <laughs> All I know is that we have a truce. We're gonna share, you know? Yeah. We're uh, gonna be good we're, friends. We're not uh. gonna be ravenous. We're not gonna tag each other, or fight each other off camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough. Let's go for it. Let's go here first. Let's find out how good it is, how bad it is. Just let me know Oof. right away. Oh right. my God. This smells so good. Guido. What does it smell like, Leo? It smells like a good damn steak. <laughs> That's what this smells like. All right. Oh. It well, smells dry. Enough talking before <laughs> something happened here and they figured out what's happening. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man. I mean, it's a dry aged steak, baby. That's right. That is a delicious steak. Mmm. Angel, what do you think? Yeah, this one's good. It has a lot of flavor. It's like what I'm used to, you know? Listen, it's not even fair anymore. They can tell you immediately what dry age is. So here's the big question. How many days, Angel? Hurry up, stop thinking. <laughs> Leo, how many days? 35? 30. Oh. It has to be at least a month. So close. 35. Good job. Hey. <laughs> I didn't want to say 35. <laughs> <from the gym. laughs> 35 days, exactly. Now, obviously, we got an experiment dry aging going on, so you can start spinning your head and see so you can figure out what I did with this one. That's the bad one. Let's go for the second one. How do you know Either that? the bad one or the Go for it, Leo. Smell it and let me know if you smell anything. For me, it's just a, such a nice, pleasant smell. No, I don't. I don't smell anything different. Good. I, I think. I think it, it just smells really good, which is something I don't know if I should be scared of or, <laughs> or, or, or what. It smells kind of like more strong of a smell that that's like dry aged. Does okay. that make sense? Makes sense. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Ooh. Oh, that's actually interesting. Oh, I enjoy that. I like that a lot. I think the flavor isn't as strong as the original one. You think so? I think there's a little bit less flavor. It's so nice right yeah. now. Take a closer one towards the middle. As it gets in the middle, I think it gets even better. Yeah. Try it, Leo. Let me know. It has like a different look to it. Like it looks well, wetter. It looks more. more yeah, this yeah, one gave a much. It may gave a much bigger yield than this one. I want to know from you, Leo. What do you think? I was gonna say very beefy, very similar to the first one, but I think it's something in the juices that when you when you when you bite into it and those juices start going into your mouth, I, it's something like extra there. There's an extra note. I think both steaks are good, preference wise, which a lot of times it just comes down to the preference. Sure. I would have probably went for the traditional one. The first one. This is a little bit of a close call, but I think I'm going with the experiment one. Yeah, I'm in with you. You know why? Because I am so used to this taste and that's what you're used to as well. But this one is so unique. It produces a little bit of a funkiness and a weird flavor that I really enjoy. By the way, I use beer, but not only beer. I use beer hops. You know the little thing that they make beer you know, with? Like, that is so funny because I'm so not a beer guy. I'm not a beer like guy either. <laughs> I, like I guess I'm a little bit of a beer guy, but not yeah. that much. So here's the deal, everybody. This is a terrible experiment for you to try at home, all right? For one reason and one reason only. It smells terrible. Your entire house will smell. So I wouldn't recommend giving this one a try, hey. try another experiment. But if you want to know if it tastes fantastic, 100%, that's amazing. I'm just happy that the results are different because that means I get a whole steak. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting, there's plenty for both of you, all right? This was your idea, guys. Put it down in the comments down below. Your next idea you would like me to try. It, it is a fantastic idea. Thank you for the suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs 
thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.